What's up, everyone, and welcome back to the Stocks with Mike and Tom show. Today was crazy. The market just soared past all-time highs. The S&P 500 is flying to the upside. We have a lot of stocks just blasting off like AMD, NVIDIA, Facebook, Tesla, Apple. There are so many stocks that are just exploding to the upside. So in today's video, we're gonna go over the best plays for tomorrow and some important news to be aware of. But with that being said, Tom, let's get right into it. Yeah, like you said, Mike, we saw new all-time highs today on the S&P 500, and we saw the SPX and the SPY just explode up all throughout the day. Pretty much uh, ever since market opened, it was just straight up. We did go down very slightly here towards the end, but as we can see, we actually pushed even higher during power hour, hitting 477. So, man, it was just a crazy day. Like you said, some of those key stocks that really moved the market, like AMD, NVIDIA, Facebook, Tesla, those stocks really went crazy today. We can see AMD was up 5.6%. That is huge for a stock like them. Obviously, they're a pretty big mover, but Apple, which is a pretty slow mover, ended up plus 2.3% as they continue to make new highs as well, or, or at least get really close. So it's just great to see these stocks flying up. Unfortunately, though, the growth stocks did not do near as well. We saw DraftKings end up down today. Even Disney was down a little bit as these growth stocks kind of uh you know they're definitely taking a bit of a uh of a cool down here as we saw them kind of explode up last week um so hopefully they can start to rise if the market keeps going but man it was just great to see the the big market makers like tesla continue to fly up yeah it's been pretty awesome for them and i don't want to jinx it but it looks like we're set for a pretty nice santa rally uh you know like a lot of stocks and there's just like a lot of uh a lot of bullish um sentiment in the market right now some of the biggest movers like you already mentioned was like amd and nvidia do we have like any levels for these ones like i know amd and and nvidia are just exploding to the upside and i know that a lot of retail traders uh like to look at them so what levels do you have for us yeah, NVIDIA actually hit a resistance here right in the middle and at the end of the day, right around 310 to 312. There's definitely a pretty big resistance right around those couple of dollars. And looking at it on the daily chart back on um, December 15th was the last time it looks like that they ended up touching that key level there around 312. So hopefully we can end up pushing up through that tomorrow. If we're able to go up above 312, I could see a pretty good move up to 320 or possibly this bigger resistance up around 325. 325 is going to be huge on NVIDIA and kind of going and looking at AMD AMD continued to break out today. They they actually uh, had a huge breakout today um, up above a key resistance of 150. And I think that was awesome that they moved through that. And I could possibly see them coming up and retesting like 155 or, uh, or honestly 160 up there at the top. I know 155 was almost like the high of day today, but once they break that, I think 160 is the next target. There we go. So that's awesome to see. And Tom, I know we're in like the holiday season and, you know, it's the season of giving. And um, I know like a lot of retail stocks have been on the on my radar, at least. And I saw some pretty good news related to MasterCard today. What's going on there? Yeah, MasterCard actually came out with a great article on CNBC, and they said that holiday sales jumped 8.5% as shoppers shrug off higher prices. And as we know, prices on things have been going crazy with the inflation going up and all of that stuff, but apparently it rose 8.5% compared with a, with a year earlier period, which is good to hear. And the good news is, is that um, this gain is actually the biggest annual increase in 17 years, but it actually did come in slightly less than uh, MasterCard's 8.8% uh, prediction that they had on the number. So um, it is it did it is good that it jumped 8.5%, and it is the biggest annual increase in 17 years, which is why I really wanted to talk about it today because, like you said, um, especially with like all the high inflation costs and everything else. I would have expected a little bit less spending, but hey, it's always great to see that more people are buying gifts and stuff. Yeah, it's interesting. And MasterCard's not at a bad level. Like if we're being honest, you know, it looks like the high of a couple months ago was right around $401. Right now it's at 360. And I know like Visa and MasterCard have been downtrending slightly over the past couple of months, but 
with um you know this type of good news it kind of makes me want to like eye it up maybe for like a starter position in shares or maybe like a short you know sell to open put position but either way it's some really good news and it looks like the uh credit card companies are doing pretty well yeah i will say i like the setup on both of them i think visa is kind of setting up like a little bit of like an inverse head and shoulders uh pattern here i could see it possibly coming up and retesting that almost like 235 to 240 resistance. And I love MasterCard. I think that one is looking pretty hot here. If we're able to break out and up above this like 362 resistance, we might see some pretty good movement tomorrow out of this. And I thought it had a really strong candle today on the daily chart with, with almost like that bullish hammer going on. There we go. So great stuff there. And let's get right into the momentum plays for tomorrow. With the first one, we have Upwork to the upside, UPWK. Yeah, go ahead and make UPWK break out above 36.10. All right, with the next one, we have AMD also to the upside. Man, this one was insane. Go ahead and make them actually break out above 156. Sounds good. And with the last one, we have Facebook, now known as Meta, to the upside. Yeah, it's so weird to say that, but make them break out above 348. All right, there we go. So we are watching these three plays for potential day trades to the upside tomorrow only if they break above the levels Tom listed. And before we get into the member of the day, I just wanna say uh, we're really close to 50,000 subscribers. So if you like our content, make sure to subscribe. We post brand new videos every single day. And if you guys have like any questions or if you guys wanna share what stocks you're watching, just let us know in the comments down below. And there's a good chance we cover your stock in tomorrow's video. So uh, with that being said, let's shout out our member of the day. Really quickly and that is cbr matt in the discord huge shout out cbr thank you so much for being a great member of the chat and uh for adding all of the value that you do so let's get right into these comments from the previous video with the first comment we have uh, medusa saying just bought disney stock once it touched 154 dollars Let's see how this week goes. And then Santana also mentioned uh, Disney. So uh, Disney is a pretty solid company, especially for the long term. And they're at a pretty good level. And then also they are working on that potential sports betting deal with their uh, ESPN, which can be huge. So I really do like it for the long term. And they're a solid company. Yeah, I really like them for the longer term too. I love their uh, streaming service. I think that's great. I think that it's awesome that they made a play with ESPN. And if they're able to get into that sports uh, sports betting industry, that is going to be huge for Disney. And I honestly, could, could you imagine going to Disney's parks and possibly betting on sports there? That would be a, a crazy thing in the future. But man, uh, looking at it, I think Disney looks pretty good. Um, I'm glad he bought it at 154. I think that's a pretty good price for the longer term, I will say if we do see a bit of a dip in them this week, don't get too worried, especially if you got shares. I think it'll definitely come back over the next six months or so. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how realistic it would be to uh, maybe do some sports betting at, at <laughs> like, a Disney park, but you never know. But uh, either way, just the fact that they're looking to integrate sports betting like on their ESPN platform is huge. And I know they're in talks with like DraftKings and Caesars for a potential deal. So it can be huge. And I'm very excited to see uh, what deal they uh, they make. So that's very exciting. And then with the next comment, we have Williams uh, saying Tesla to $1,250 with like a praying emoji. So it's looking pretty good so far. That all time high is right around $1,250. So that's good to see. Tesla is on an awesome uptrend over like the past couple of days. Um, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it slows down a little bit because uh, it's been pretty crazy lately, but you know, Tesla is a powerhouse. Yeah, they are a huge stock. I mean, obviously, like Mike said, they are just a, a crazy stock with a lot of momentum right now. They have, they've been, almost went straight up ever since hitting $900. They pretty much went straight from 900 all the way up to 1100 where they are. Um, I honestly could see them slowing down a little bit too. And we're getting pretty close to some big resistances. Like honestly, today there was a pretty big resistance we hit here right around like 1,115. And I'm also seeing another one up here around like 1150 or um, 1160. There we go. So Tom, do you have any last minute stocks or options or anything for tomorrow? 
you know, a lot of these stocks look pretty good, I think, but one of my favorite setups is Facebook. I know we talked about them a little bit earlier, but man, Meta looks pretty hot, I think, for tomorrow. Looking at their setup on the daily, they are finally starting to break out, I think, to the upside. And especially if they're able to break above this 355 resistance, I think that's going to be huge for Facebook. So hopefully they can get up. Um, or obviously they're called Meta now. Like I said earlier, it's a little bit weird to you know call them uh, call them Meta, but in the end, it's been getting them a lot of hype. Looks like they're finally getting some movement off of this. And if we're able to break up above 355, I could see us coming up and possibly retesting 380 or somewhere really close to that all-time high. Here we go. Well, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you trade options, definitely check out the first link in the description and the comments down below for daily option swing trades, day trades, access to custom bots in a great community. You can cancel at any time and we have a coupon running. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching.